Hi everyone, I'm Ken, this is Ken in the Kitchen, and today I actually have a request for a recipe by, by my producer. Why does, that, why does that sound so familiar? Hello everyone, I'm Ken, this is Ken in the Kitchen. Welcome back. Today I have a request from my producer. We're gonna do Mexican street corn and chicken chowder. So this is a reboot. We actually did this recipe before. I posted a video, but it was clunky. The video had audio trouble. It was all over the place and I was banging stuff on the counter. I had a glass cutboard. It was making a terrible noise with the knife. So we're gonna do the same recipe, better video. So here's everything that we're gonna need. And this is really just gonna be set everything in the crock pot and forget it. So I'll go ahead and give you an ingredients list and we'll give you the method and time and temperature. All right, see you guys in a minute. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and use two cans of cream style corn, one can of Fiesta style corn, one four ounce can of the green chilies. We're gonna use one can of black beans, chicken stock, boneless skinless chicken breasts. We're gonna use fresh cracked black peppercorns. I'm gonna grind some sea salt. We're gonna use smoked paprika and then chili powder. We're going to use some cumin and I'm going to add in a couple dashes of the uh, chili garlic sauce. Also not pictured here, we're going to add in some Monterey Jack and Colby cheese and also some heavy cream. All right everybody, I've got everything all prepared. I got the chicken fat trimmed off. I got all the spices put together and I went ahead and sauteed the shallot and the garlic together. So now it's simple. We just put everything in. So you're going to start with the chicken. You're going to put the chicken in at the bottom layer. So best if you know, so if you're going to be touching everything that you don't actually touch the chicken. Okay. I'll make sure they kind of cover all the way the, across the bottom. Okay. That's all the chicken in the bottom down there. Next is we're going to put in all of the canned stuff. And I I seem to remember something about the last episode. What was that? From the corn and the chicken stock that we're going to be using to make sure this recipe is plenty hydrated. I mean, you, there are a couple of add-ins that you can do. Uh, one of the ones I like it for was a... Uh... Okay, so now that I've learned to put something down so I don't make a really loud noise, let's go ahead and fill in the cream corn. It worked. There's the next can of cream corn. And this is the black beans. Now, the directions actually say in the recipe that I'm going to link in the description to drain the black beans. You don't have to. I usually don't. I may drain a little off the top, and, and that's really about all I do. Okay. This is the Fiesta style corn. Now it calls for a fire roasted corn or Mexican style corn. But our shelves were pretty empty at the grocery store. So we were going for some of that. But as you can see, the shelves are pretty bare. So we're gonna substitute it with that. I think that'll work out pretty well. So this is what we landed on, all right. And then the green chilies. All right, so that's everything. Next is the seasonings. This is the cumin, the paprika, and the chili powder. Um, I do two tables, I'm not two tablespoons, no. I do two teaspoons of cumin, two teaspoons of chili powder, and half a teaspoon of paprika. And I actually use smoked paprika because it just has a much better flavor. Get that in there, okay. And then I do a little dash because I love it. You don't have to, this isn't in the recipe. This is just something I throw in. All right, so next is the chicken broth. There's one cup of chicken broth and in here, like I said, are the shallot and the uh, garlic that I sauteed.
All right, so next we're just going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, so we're just gonna give it a little bit of stir and then we're gonna turn it on and I'm gonna cook it on high heat for about four hours. And then at that time, we're gonna do another quick little video of how to prepare the chicken because the chicken is actually shredded for this dish. And it's actually a lot simpler than you think it might be to do the shredding of the chicken. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and set this on high for four hours. Okay, so we've hit the four hour mark and we're gonna go ahead and shred our chicken. Now, I don't know if you all have, you know, all the same equipment or not, but if you do have the KitchenAid mixer, you're gonna grab your paddle attachment, you're gonna put in your bowl, make sure it's locked into place, and then we're going to add our chicken, put the paddle attachment on, and we're going to turn it to about a medium speed, and this will shred the chicken. Now, if you don't have a mixer with the paddle attachment, you can use two forks. I'm just showing you this method because it's the easiest method to do. All right, let's take a look. And that's all there is to it. Okay. Okay, so now the chicken is shredded and there's two other things we're gonna add. We're gonna add the cheese at this time and two cups of heavy cream. You can use half and half. You can even put in a little sour cream if you like. We tend to do that at the end though. So let's go ahead and get this stuff put back in the soup. And we're not gonna be cooking it again, but we are gonna be, you know, turning the, the, crock pot on just so everything can get heated back up so we don't want to eat a cold soup. So we'll just be doing it on high for about 30 minutes. Okay, so that's all back in there. Hello everyone, welcome back. And now I actually get to taste the dish. So there are lots of options for this dish. You can sub things in or out. You can add, you know, shallot like I did. You know, I diced it and I uh, sauteed it with a little bit of garlic. You can either add lime, or you can add cilantro, you can add sour cream. You know, these are all options. I didn't mention all these things because it's not something that we're gonna actually put in our dish. But, you know, when this thing comes out, it smells great and the texture's great. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite. Mm. Oh my God, that is so good. You guys gotta try this. Very little effort. You pretty much just put it in and go. Keep an eye out for more videos coming out soon. I'm Ken, this is Ken in the Kitchen. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next video.